It might not look like it, but this is actually over eight kilograms of filament. I haven't done a really big project in a while. Loads of pieces here, over there, some here. Two risers, they already assembled. And the final three parts are printing on the high combo. This is actually two models and I had to do two of each. So just to visualize it, I'll put it in the bamboo slicer. And you can see the total, 8.2 kilograms of filament. And if you were to print this on one printer, it would be seven days and 14 hours. Luckily, I have more than one printer. So it took me like one and a half, two days, but I used the high combo, uh, A1, X1C, 2P1Ss and the K2. If I were to use the K2 Pro and the 85X also, I could have probably done it all in one day, but they were printing some other projects. And there is a lot of assembling to be done still, but it's going to be using the 608 bearings and some M3 screws. And they are going to replace my AMS stacks. I have this one by Darren on my P1S and it's awesome, but it only holds one AMS. So I'm going to get rid of the rises I already have and the stands and hopefully it's going to work because if I just wasted all that filament I'm not going to be happy okay it took a while but it is now done I use the same LED controllers on most of my printers so I can turn them all on and this one turns on the K2 plus also the K2 Pro doesn't have a riser yet they are still quite tall but not as much and I gained some extra storage for like build plates and some drawers but the way these lofts work you can load the top ams however you like then you push it back it's all on bearings and then the front one slides out so it kind of looks like this there's a small block here to keep the lid on so this way even though there's not so much space between them you can still access all of them so that's pretty cool 